Don't need to see the rematch. I don't care if Alexander Volkanovsky deserves it, which he does, but don't want to see it, and I don't care about it because he's going to get knocked out again, and I know that for a fact. 100% Volk gets KO'd again by Ilya Teporia. I don't want to see Volk get KO'd three times in a row, and I understand that there are some nearsighted fans right now that are going to be saying, listen, man, he deserves it. So what if he gets KO'd? He's still the GOAT. He could still come back and win a million fights. Like... I'm already seeing people saying that Alexander Volkanovsky was never that good. <laughs> I'm already seeing guys start to put Aldo ahead of Volk again. These Aldo fans coming back out of the woodworks. Sorry, man, but if you lose four times in your early 30s and you get beat by every single other featherweight goat in contention, you're not on Volk's level. Get the fuck out of here. Sorry, man. Not how it works. Aldo fans, go back to sleep. Okay, <laughs> go back to sleep. He's not on Volk's level. Don't give a fuck. All right, L listen. L I'll get to the Aldo fans at the end of this video. I don't want to see the rematch. Alexander Volkanovsky has 0% chance of winning in reality. It's time to wake up. If you want to see the rematch, I ask you why. Are you a Teporia fan? Then of course you're going to call for it. Fair enough. I see Ilya Teporia at the post-fight press conference. He's saying it's time to move on, but Volk is such a nice guy, man. I'll give him the rematch. Yeah, because he wants to KO the featherweight goat twice in a row because it looks real good on his resume. Of course he wants that rematch. Volkanovsky wants it. Of course, he's a competitor, man. He's got an ego on him. He wants that rematch too. But if you're a Volk fan or just a regular MMA fan, this is how the fight's going to go. Last time we saw Volkanovsky beating Ilya Teporia, outpointing him, but... Those kicks that we were talking about that were going to be such a big issue for Ilya didn't prove to be an issue at all. The jab didn't prove to be an issue at all. All right, Ilya Teporia bulldozed him and took advantage of Volk's weakness, leaving his chin in the air and fucking knocked his ass out. That's exactly how the rematch is going to go. Ilya Teporia, who will get rapidly better because he's still really young, who had all the pressure on him in this fight, now knowing he can get it done, is probably going to be able to do it even better. Probably going to be able to make those exchanges where Volk was outpointing him even closer. And Volk has to be perfect for 25 minutes. It's not happening. Sorry, not happening. Volk's chances of winning a 25-minute point contest, that's fluky. Accept it. Accept it. I don't give a fuck if this is, oh, what are you saying, man? What are you saying? No, 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 no. And then what do you think is going to happen after that? Volk's going to move up to the lightweight division. Understand it's going to be hard to get a rematch, a trilogy, after getting knocked out twice. And he's going to fight someone like Justin Gagey and get KO'd again. So we can either see four KO losses in a row, or he should retire while he still has a phenomenal legacy, and he's only lost one fight in his own division to a guy that probably will go on to become the next best featherweight of all time. That loss isn't going to age poorly. All right, Volk loses to Deporia. That's not going to look good if Deporia loses his next few fights. But if Deporia doesn't lose for the next five years, we'll say, okay, Volk at 35, coming off of a KO loss, lost to the next featherweight GOAT. Big deal. Or we could see him get KO'd twice in a row by Deporia. And then we'll say Volk was never that good to begin with. Okay, which is what people are saying now. And then he can move up to lightweight, get knocked out there at the age of 36 because this is going to happen quickly. Volk's going to make a quick turnaround. He's not going to take years off. He'll get KO'd. He'll be 35. He'll be 35 and get KO'd twice more this year. He'll get knocked out this summer. He'll come back in December and get knocked out then too. Three KO losses in a row. This is what you guys want? Are you out of your fucking minds? Wake up. Get out of Peaches and Creamville. I'm tired of this shit. Wake up. He has no chance to win the rematch. Volk has another option, though. If I'm Volkanovsky, I'm, I'm, got, I'm looking at my legacy right now. This is what a freaking mastermind would do. This is why Volk needs to hire me as a manager. This is what Volk should do. Instead of clamor for the rematch and ruin his entire legacy, because even though he's 35, you have absolute imbecile Aldo fans that aren't going to really think of that, and they're probably just going to say, Aldo's better, he had more title defenses. Yeah, oh, great title defense over Mike Brown. Whoa, Mike Brown. No, he beat Uriah Faber a couple times too. Whoa, Uriah Faber. Whoa. All right, let's relax. Let's chill. TKZ was pretty good. Fair enough. Chad Mendes pretty good. Volkanovski also beat Chad Mendes. And people act like Chad Mendes was an old man, but he was like 33 when Volk beat him. But either way, 
Oh, Volk beat Aldo as well, by the way, Aldo fans. And and uh, Aldo lost when he was 29 to Connor. Did Volk lose when he was 33? No, didn't happen. Did Volk lose when he was 34? Nah, lost when he was 35. Um, so let's get this straight. This is what the plan should be for Alexander Volkanovsky. Volkanovsky can either retire before it's too late, before he gets knocked out twice more this year, which probably will happen. He is going to get KO'd again this year if he fights Ilya Teporia. If he takes the formal path that any dominant champion has in front of them, like Kamaru Usman losing to Edwards, he will get knocked out again. He is. Like, that's the way you're losing to Teporia coming off of a KO loss. I wouldn't be surprised if next time as well, Teporia actually does better in general when it comes to just the, the tit-for-tat exchanges. But Teporia doesn't have the same high output striking, so I think he'll do well, but he'll probably just KO Volk again. This is what Volk should do. Volk should fight the easiest, pillow-handed, high-level opponents possible. Fight Bryce Mitchell. Get a win over Bryce. Aljamain Sterling beats Calvin Cater. Fuck it. Fight Aljo. That's the uh, former bantamweight, multiple-time champion. Right? Get a, get a win like that. That's a pretty good one on your resume, right? Who else could he fight? Um, I don't think I want him to fight Max Holloway again. Honestly, Max Holloway has a granite chin. Volkanovski's chin is probably going to be worse. And if there's ever a time where Volk might actually get KO'd by Max, next time would be the time. Because Volk has to win on points against Max Holloway. He's never going to finish him. Fight people that aren't dangerous, dude. If Volkanovski fights like super one-dimensional, non-dangerous, but like decent resume fighters, he could get like three or four or five wins in a row. Because Volk still is going to be good. Like he's still in a way built different from these other guys. But he cannot fight elite levels of competition after fighting Ilya Teporia again. Because that'll be three KO losses in a row. And even if he's still at a high level, the chin just ain't going to be there, man. It's just not. And of course, at some point, he's going to start to decline. But you know what? A, a heavily declined Volkanovski could still probably beat Bryce Mitchell. So that's a, that's a win. That's a decent win. Okay? A heavily declined Volkanovski is getting Aljamain Sterling out of their pillow hands, Aljo. Fuck it. Fight Jack Hermanson. I think if he does stick around, he wants to make money, he's on a good contract with the UFC, fight a lot, stay super active, just beat up all these guys that you're going to get free wins on. It's, it's time to accept that the age of challenges is over. You're not beating Islam Makashev ever. You're not beating Ilya Teporia ever. And like, th this isn't saying it's not possible at all. Of course, it, there's anything is possible Volk has to get a fluke win over Ilya. I'm sorry, bro. Like, the odds of it going to a decision are literally fluky with a guy like that. That's what I mean. He's going to have to be perfect for 25 minutes. Okay, okay, maybe he takes him down next time. You think he's going to sub him? He doesn't have the subs. He doesn't have the submissions in his arsenal. He's going to have to be perfect. It's not happening. He's not beating Justin Gagey coming off of three KO losses. <laughs> That's what is going to happen. And so not only do I want this guy to retire because it's good for his legacy, which is definitely important if you have a phenomenal legacy and you leave with that legacy intact, you can market yourself well. John Jones, GSP, these guys are able to market themselves as some of the best fighters ever. And a big part of that has to do with the fact that they didn't get KO'd 50 times in a row on their way out. I also just don't want this guy's brain to get completely ruined. I don't want to see him be a vegetable. And so again, if you're a Volk fan, why do you want this rematch so badly? Like, there's a 5% chance that he wins. Just accept it. It's not going to happen. 35? You think he's going to break the 35 curse coming off of two KO losses in a row? Grow up. He's going to freaking fry his brain. And, and back to my original point, if he retires right now, we can say this guy was a really dominant champion. Lost when he was 35. Got head kick KO'd by Islam Makashev on short notice. That's literally something you can kind of look past. And then the loss before that was to Islam Makashev. That was a loss that literally raised his stock. A lot of people thought that he won that fight. I think as time has progressed, people have understood, you know what? We were just really surprised with how well he did, but Islam probably won the fight. Either way, it was a really close battle and it raised Volkanovsky's stock and it made him look better than ever because most people expected him to get dominated. So we're looking at a loss to Islam Makashev, the first one, that isn't a bad loss. Like, it's a loss, fair enough. But it's up a weight class, and he 
showed a really good version of himself. And he looked good. Like That was like a legendary performance from him. Not Islam, but him. Islam won. I rate him highly for that. But when people look at it, it's like they're more impressed with Volkanovsky's ability not to get totally ruined. Okay? And then he gets head kick KO'd by Islam on short notice. Dude, you're not beating Islam Makhachev on 10 days notice. I don't give a fuck who you are. Not happening if you're a lightweight or a featherweight. No. Um, and then he gets knocked out by Ilya Teporia four months after a KO. I am not saying he got KO'd because his chin was bad. I think that Ilya Teporia, again, is the guy that's able to exploit Volk's weaknesses. He is super durable as well. The low kicks were not an issue for him. The jabs were not an issue for him. And that's that, All right? He, he was better in the pocket, straight up. And so that's not that bad. Like Volk's legacy right now is still really good. If he gets knocked out again, the same people that are calling for the rematch are going to say, damn, I guess Volk was just never that guy really though, right? The same people that are asking for the rematch are the ones that are going to say, dude, I guess Aldo really was that guy, man. I keep saying that. Aldo was the guy all along, man. Like, dude, Aldo got fucked up by every single other goat in contention. Like, enough. In his early 30s. I don't want to hear it. A horrible argument. Terrible argument. He's beating bums. Fighting for a UFC belt as soon as he got into the UFC. Fighting for the WEC belt. A couple fights into the WEC. It was easier to get that opportunity to begin with. He lost because he was fighting the better levels of competition. Volk lost. Because he was fighting Ilya Tapori, who's an absolute monster. But he beat Max Holloway. He beat Jose Aldo. And he's beaten everyone else. And he showed the good version of himself against Islam. How you want his career to end? You want five KO losses in a row? Ask for the rematch. You want him to make a bunch of money and, and win le left and right? Stack up wins. Imagine this. Pillow hands Mitchell. <laughs> he can fight him next week for all I care. He's still going to win. Aljamain Sterling, who beats Calvin Cater possibly. Former Bantamweight champion. All right. Just think of all the non-dangerous guys in that division. A lot of them are dangerous. I don't want him to fight Arnold Allen or Evloev. I know some people are going to be saying, dude, Evloev can't KO a fly. Dude, he actually stung Arnold Allen and he rocked Dan Ige. Like, I understand he's not been KOing anyone, but Kamaru Usman wasn't really a knockout artist up until his championship reign. Like, you can eventually improve your striking to the point to where you can start hurting guys. And Evloev has that chain wrestling, and you have to focus on that. And we know that's opening up the striking for a guy like that. Same thing with Makashev. His wrestling allows him to get going with the striking. I don't want Volk to fight someone like that. Fight a bunch of these pillow-handed guys that are pretty decent. Dude, you could stack up like four wins in a row and then literally retire with four win bonuses. And then maybe get your rematch and get KO'd at the age of like 37 and everyone expects it, you know? Literally, that would be good for his legacy. Dude, oh my God. Like The, the biggest issue here is Volk's own fucking ego, bro. He's not going to allow himself to, to just... Fight someone outside of the top five. He's going to think he's too good for it. And he wants to take a challenge. And he's going to think, oh, I just got caught. And you know what? Maybe he did make the mistake and he did get caught. But that's been a weakness in his game. Who's to say he's not going to make that same mistake again? It's like those are his instincts as a fighter. He's 35. It's kind of hard to rewire things. And it's going to be easier for Tapori to get it done again. He already knows he can do it. He had all the pressure on himself going into this. And he got it done. I'm sorry, dude. Volk's not breaking the 35 curse again. There's no chance he wins the rematch. So if you're a Volk fan, like, honestly, ask yourself, why do you want it? You want to see the rematch for the 5% chance that he gets it done? Like, wake up. It's not happening. He's going to get knocked the fuck out again. Just accept it. And then what? Then he's going to move up to lightweight, right? He's going to get KO'd again. He'll move up to lightweight. I don't know what the fuck's going on on screen. <laughs> and then he's going to get KO'd at lightweight. Three KO losses in a row. KOs will affect you. Or he could do what I say and retire. Say, fuck the rematch. Which would honestly, like, it'd be a tough pill to swallow. He would have to set his ego to the side. But I'm sorry, that's actually what's good for his legacy. And fight a bunch of pillow-handed fools. <laughs> fight a bunch of pillow-handed guys. All right? So back to Aldo. Let me just get to Aldo. Volk was never that good. Aldo shows you how good he was. He was on top forever. Dude, get the fuck out of here. With that bullshit. Yeah, Aldo is a legend. Aldo is a goat. This is not a diss towards Aldo. 
but I'm just going to set the record straight once again. Aldo lost at 29, then he lost at 31 and 30 to Max Holloway twice, and then he got two wins, two good wins, he was still pretty good, and then he lost to Volkanovski at 33. So I don't want to hear anything about that. Volk lost four months after getting knocked the fuck out, taking a fight on short notice against Ilya Teporia, who's an absolute savage, who is going to go on to be one of the goats of the sport, and he's 35, all right? 35, that's the big difference. He has one loss at featherweight. By the time Aldo was 35, he had had four losses at featherweight and a couple at bantamweight too. So get out of here. Don't want to hear it. You think Aldo's the featherweight goat all of a sudden? If Volk was the featherweight goat last week and now Aldo is, make that make sense. Sorry, Volk was the featherweight goat after the Max Holloway trilogy. That's how it is. Then he had the Ayer win. People are forgetting he beat Ayer. Great title win. Volk needs to hang it up. Retire. Fight a bunch of pillow-handed motherfuckers. <laughs> or just... Like, literally, why not? Like, honestly, I want to rip my fucking hair out. Why not? Why not? Like, I, I just don't understand. Kamara Usman... Could be doing the same thing. If I'm an Usman fan, Usman, why not move up and fight Brendan Allen, dude? F fight one of these shitty middleweights that's good, but like, you know, not outside of the top 10. Fight a pillow-handed middleweight. Fight Paul Craig. Stuff the takedowns and knock him out. It's a free win. That looks good on your resume. You know why? Because if someone beats Paul Craig on the come-up, if someone beats, beats Bryce Mitchell on the come-up like Ilya Teporia, Sure, we're going to say, well, Mitchell's not on Volk's level. Fair enough. But Mitchell, in and of itself, is a good win. That's like a decent win. Why don't these guys, these long-reigning champions, after they get knocked out a couple of times and we know that they're just not going to come back, why don't they just rack up a bunch of free ones? You know why? It's because of their ego, bro. That Their ego gets the better of them. And they're like, no, nah, man, I want to fight Shavkar. I need to fight the number one contender to get back in there. Except that you're not going to win. Like... <laughs> I, like, I understand that that's such a weak way of thinking <laughs> to, like, these, like, guys that actually do on do to become goats. But look at Jones, man. Jones is smart. He's not fighting Tom Aspinall. He knows that's dumb as fuck. Why would you fight Tom Aspinall? You have old man Stipe. Ten years from now, people are going to say, hey, you got Stipe. It's not a good win, but it's still a win. It's still, it's still a green check on your resume. And that's a weak win because Stipe has been out for years. Fight an active pillow-handed dude that's still, you know, not in his 40s. Again, like you could say, well, that, that's a weak mindset. That's why you'll never be a champion. I'm like, fair enough, but it's never happened. Like, it, it's just against the statistics, all right? It's against the reality. It's against father time. A 35-year-old has never won a title fight in a lighter weight class. It ain't going to work. Sorry, not going to happen. And if he gets the rematch, his chances of winning another fight after that diminish significantly again. This is my official prediction for what will actually happen versus what should happen. Either retire or fight a bunch of pillow-handed people that aren't dangerous, that still have okay resumes. Just get like four of them in a row. This is what will actually happen. Volk, is going to get knocked out again by Ilya Teporia. He's going to get KO'd by Justin Gagey. He's going to get KO'd again. Volk is going to get knocked out five times in a row. <laughs> That's literally what's going to happen, dude. So, fuck the rematch. I don't want it. If you want it, oh no, I want it. It's just interesting for the sport. How? He got knocked out. You want to see it again? For what? Ilya Tepori should fight Mavzar Evloev, undefeated, not coming off of a KO loss. I don't give a fuck if Mavzar Evloev hasn't got a finish. Since when is it all about finishes? You're telling me, like, the, dude, John Jones is one of the most dominant fighters ever. Half of those wins that he has that are dominant are decisions. Who gives a fuck if he doesn't have finishes? Get him in the cage and have him fight Ilya Tepori now. All right? Jesus, man. Peter Yan, one of his best wins is over Corey Sandhagen. He didn't finish Corey Sandhagen. What a bomb. Like, are we going back to the caveman era? You need a finish? What is the, the Chuck Liddell era? <laughs> Get out of here. All right? Enough. No rematch. End of story.